Hey everyone, welcome back. For those of you new to this channel, welcome to Off the Water. Let's put this on because I'm looking rather scruffy or like I got that bed head. <laughs> so we gotta make it look a little bit more legit. And let's get some light inside here too. There we go. All right, so we've got a little bit of a late start today. Um, we're not gonna head out to launch the skiff for probably another two hours. So it gives me a little bit of time to <clears throat> go over what just happened yesterday and what has been happening. Honestly, I don't even know. I guess let's just talk about jetty fishing. Let's talk about the gear that I am using out there. And we just gave away one of these rods right here. This is the old 18 cat shot. I use them as uh, what we went through all the trips and they're primarily designed for cat fishing. However, it does a little bit of dual action for you to be able to sling two ounce spoons, one ounce spoons. I did it effectively. And I was also throwing clickbait shrimp. That's these guys right here that I have on the wall. Um, this is the exact one that I was slinging out there. And I was able to get it about 20 yards out, but uh, I'm trying to find something that's just maybe a little bit longer in length for a rod. So I gave one of these rods away while we were out there at the jetty to a gentleman who definitely said he could put it through some use. So that's what we're all about. Just trying to make sure that those rods will continuously be used. What we have our Stella on now is uh, one of my older jigging rods because I think that if I'm going to go back out there to the jetties, we'll wait for a very calm day. And let's take the kayak or we will take the uh, skiff, maybe. I don't know. The swells have to be at least one foot or less in order for that skiff to make an appearance out there. Some of y'all have been asking for it, maybe not y'all on this channel, but I know quite a few people have been asking for it over on the fishing channel. So we might take the skiff out there and then just do some vertical jigging with some of my older rods. Uh, it's just like the things that old 18 aren't in the game with yet. They are, however, Thinking about making a jetty rod with input from myself and RX Angler, so I am super excited to know that they're actually thinking about it. Whether it happens or not, I don't know. That remains to be seen. But the fact that they're thinking about making a jetty rod is music to my ears, so super awesome. Hopefully I'm not ruining any surprises. They didn't tell me that I couldn't tell the audience, so... Uh, you all are the first to know that they're thinking about making that. So really exciting stuff going on in their ballpark as far as the jetty is concerned. This right here is what I take out there with me to the jetties. I cannot stand going out there and taking all kinds of things. This right here is a Sims sling pack. I forgot which model. I'm pretty sure it's no longer made but if you can find them out in stores then cool if you go to the sims website then you'll probably see new packs so up here we have a little pouch that is the perfect size if i can do this one handed here let's set that so this right here is a nice size pouch for the sunglasses and we got our costas so that goes inside here and then we also use a little uh, microfiber cloth or whatever it's the sunglass cleaning cloth to wipe off the lens to our gopro right here we'll wipe that off with that pout the uh, fabric that's inside here and uh, that's what goes up here then you have three pouches one right here which is the top inside this i take a top water which is not in here i got some of my one ounce spoons that I'm slinging with the uh, the smaller rod and reel setup. I'll show you all that here in a second. Uh, some other spoons that have been used. Circle hooks in the event that somebody lets us have some shrimp and we can do like a 
live bait rig to help catch or help us to catch fish. But in return, we're more than likely going to give it away to them because they're helping us out. We got some braid cutting scissors. They've seen better days. And then some forceps to do the intricate hook removal work. And uh, I have usually like one or two other artificials in the event that, you know, we're in desperation mode, which that's why this fella came out. I need a plastic baggie to put him in and then it's gonna go back inside right there. So this right here is the other lure that I'm taking out there with me. It's the Halco Popper, uh, one of their smaller ones and the perfect size to be able to sling out there in the event that the jacks come close enough or maybe the Spanish mackerel they are uh, out there then i've always wanted to catch one this is what the second season that i've been slinging this and i have not caught anything off top water yet but this goes inside here as well so all of these things are inside this top pouch and the reason why i do it is because this is kind of hard and it doesn't compress to where those hooks dig into my fabric so that right there goes here all the lures that we're going to take. Directly below it is a very narrow thin pouch. That's where my leader line goes and we're carrying... Let's get this out right there. Okay. The leader line that we're using out there at the jetties and I may up it a little bit more to maybe 40 or 50 pound but this is 30 pound suffix mono fairly inexpensive for however what is that 110 yards of leader line we've been using this for two seasons now and we still got some in there i strip off about eight eight feet like segments to tie that's what i've been doing this season and it seems to be working I'm using the FG knot to hold that leader line and it's actually working really well. Um, this right here, the last and final pouch that we got in our pack, it's going to carry my little jetty box. So this has got a lot more of those Amazon spoons. We've got a three quarter ounce right there. We have one ounces right here. And then the used stuff will come over here, which I need to take that used spoon up in the top pouch and put it right here. Try to keep them separated and make sure that all the moisture is dried because then it'll just do its thing over here. And then we also have, here goes those hooks right here. I have some galvanized saltwater hooks that are very stout, the trebles, in the event that these right here, I had something just completely straighten out the hook right there. I'm thinking I was snagged to another ray out there, but it's straight, I mean, here is the hook right here. So check this out. Let's see if we can get that. You see how straightened out that is? That is crazy. These hooks are a lot stout than this one right here. So that's what I, carry these additional hooks out there with me for and then we have all the stuff i hope that this is all inside the shot we have all the other stuff to do that live bait rig as i was saying we got some of the pencil poppers some spro power swivels number two size is perfect for what we're doing and i also got some number fours i think for the smaller intricate stuff on the live bait rigs and treble hooks, uh, split shot right here. So those are the things that we are carrying with us out there. Let's put that hook away so we can throw it away. And that's what goes inside this last and final pouch. Aside of that, the only other thing that's in here <clears throat> are some wipies for the camera lenses in the event that they get splashed. Uh, and we need to get all of that salty residue off and then the battery box for all of the juice that's going to be needed to film out there on the water. So we got all of our batteries inside here and then anything else that I'm going to take out there, usually the Hero 9 as I'm walking, 
it's basically what I'm filming with whenever I'm out there. Um, all of that stuff is going to go inside that Jetty Sling Pack. And that's pretty much what I'm going out there with. Now, the other Jetty setup, y'all are going to ask, maybe if you care, uh, Mark, what are you using while you're out there on the Jetties now? Being that you don't have the Shimano uh, Stella hooked up to a proper Jetty rod. So there goes the Stella right there. There goes the jigging rod for vertical stuff. I am going to go out there with this over here. We have a Luz Pro TI and it's made it to an Arius medium power rod with the fast action tip, seven feet long, plenty of backbone. That is one of the heaviest setups that I got. <clears throat> and then the other one is outside. So we'll go out there really fast. This one right here has already been going out there to the jetties. It's my bait caster, a 300 sized series Pisifun Alios. It's $99, I think is what it retails out there uh, on Amazon. And it will be linked in the video description down below, but it's a, it is a really good fishing reel. This thing, like literally, it rarely, I, okay, so I don't know if I've ever backlashed with it before. I can't recall the last time that I backlashed with this fishing reel. Um, I don't think I ever have backlashed with this cheap Chinese reel. And it's made out of aluminum. It's fared way better than my, as far as the looks go. So l let me correct myself. It's fared better than the Lose Pro TI as far as the fit, and, not the fit, but the finish. If you take a look at these, the Pro TI has got a lot of corrosion. Now that's just aesthetics. That's the, the, uh, the look of it, which doesn't even matter. It's the performance. Both of these are just knockout performers. The Lose Pro TI is super tiny but it packs one freaking heck of a punch. We've caught a jack on it before. We've never caught a jack on the Pisifun. We've caught plenty of Spanish mackerel, but never a jack. So this guy is untested. This guy has got three of them under its belt. And I'm just dying to put it through another one. The Arius medium power rod has never caught a jack. The hollow point medium power, I think this is medium or medium light. It's a medium. Seven foot three inches long hollow point has got quite a few big boys under its belt. So the reason why this rod has them is because it used to be made it to this fishing reel. I will link that video, if I can remember, in the description down below so that you can check out whenever I pulled in a jack off of the rocks there in Surfside and yeah, so these are what I'm going to go out there with when we start hitting up the jetties again. I truly want to be able to take the Stella, but I just wait. I need to make sure that I I have a, a proper jetty rod because it hurts. Thanks, sweetheart. You're welcome. But uh, yeah, so that is it. That's what we're working with. Um, I've got to finish up some things so that we can get out there and go fishing today. Late start, waiting for it to warm up, waiting for the winds to lower down. And hopefully we're gonna get on some fish today because after yesterday's skunk, it was absolutely horrible. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of y'all coming over here and giving me your time. I respect each and every one of you, so I wanna keep it simple. And uh, again, yeah, just, Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time when we're off the water.